All right, guys. I uh, this video is going to be kind of all over the place because I have a bunch of footage. I don't know where to really put it. But we're going to start off by uh, grabbing a '54 Chevy. We're going to scoop that up, do a little walk around, and then uh, I got to do a little bit of work on this thing. Nothing major. I just got some way better seats, so I'm going to put throw those in. I do have to fix a little rattly bit on the side. Not a big deal. And uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of. Uh, basically, I'm stripping a car, it has a supercharger on it, and I'm going to try to do a basic mock-up on the flathead, see how how much work that will or is, is or isn't. <laughs> Anyways, off to pick up a car. Well, a buddy of mine has given me a lead on a, a Chevy sedan. I think it's a 53 or 54, but it's a two-door, so that's super cool. So, going to go scoop it up. Uh, so I'm just gonna hitch up the general here, get her all ready, and uh, hit the road. So, this is what we uh, scored. This thing is, I mean, it looks rough, but it is in phenomenal shape. Uh, she's a little banged up and things, but unreal. Like there's just, I would call this a survivor. There's like almost no rust on the outside. I think this is about the only hole on the outside of the car. She's got her share of dents and stuff, but there is uh, rust on the floor inside, that's typical. But it's not even terrible compared to what most of these are. Because if you've seen this, if you've seen this thing from underneath, let's see if I can get you in there. Oh, let, me, let me pull my camera off here. If you actually look underneath, like the inner rockers on both sides are just phenomenal. It's crazy. Can't say I've ever found a car like that myself. <laughs> <laughs> They've always been just rotten. So a windshield is bust, but whatever. The hood's got some wowies in her. <clears throat> Still got the original powertrain in it, which is stuck. And even this side, just. Come on, focus. <clears throat> <coughs> just nice, 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 nice. I need a headliner. <laughs> and some seat covers. See, this is about the only rust work. Oh, there's a little bit right here. But it's super minor. Holy! I dig it. <clears throat> it's under... There you can see the... Uh, the hood has seen some better days. We can knock them out. But I have that other hood, which is, eh, it's close to the color that I louvered already. But either way, let's uh, see if I can open this. Uh, 
So everything's as it should. Motor stuck. I mean, it had coolant. I don't know. I think it has oil. It is an automatic car, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's got oil in it. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to run the stock motor in this particular car. This thing deserves to get just driven the doors off of. I'm kind of feeling an LS, but not really touching any of the chassis or anything. Because I've always done all the small block swap. The front end feels actually pretty tight. So I might just rebuild all the brakes. Put a motor, motor and trans in it. And go. But yeah. Need a windshield. A couple bangers on the roof. Which you can kind of just knock them out and then they are what they are. The car has such a nice look to it. I think anyways. But all the chrome and stuff's in the car. Like you can see in the back. Just needs to... Uh, I love the look of it. I think she just needs to get... Uh, like redo the interior. And uh, leave her as she is. So we got the few other bits in the trunk. She's got all the hubcaps. Could be quite a little sleeper. I originally thought I was gonna chop it, but never. Nah, it's too nice. It's too nice to do that with. I'll do what I wanna do, and if somebody wants to restore it or do something, then that'd be great, but I wanna drive the doors off it for a little while. I think it'd be a cool little car. <sighs> yes, sir. Just gonna find some 15 inch wheels. I think what my plan will be eventually is I want to, uh, I don't know, I have either, I think it's a 4.8 with a 60E, so I have a nice overdrive tranny. Update the rear, put something modern on there. Throw some 15s or some wide whites on her. I think I have a set of wide whites, probably a 14s, so I don't know if I could run the hubcaps then. But throw those on, lower it down a little bit, and just drive it. I think it'd just be a nice car. I think all the trim rings, I think I have all that. I have another, I think a 53 behind the barn that I can steal the few parts that are missing. So I think it's missing these. I think the trim rings are there, but I think it's missing the inner bezel. But I like it. It's a really nice car. Anyways, I'm gonna have to get her unloaded and just parked in the row of projects. I'd like to get to it though this summer sometime, probably after I finish the panel. I might throw this in in the middle if I kind of burn out on the panel because this is a pretty quick quick build I think other than the interior the interior will take a little while to do but as far as just building brakes slamming a motor in it the uh, probably changing out the fuel tank or building a fuel tank for it other than that it looks good like I've never seen I've never had a car where the tabs were still there Every, everything's still Still in it, like I can actually hook the skirts up. It's crazy. Crazy. But anyways, <clears throat> let's get this thing off here. distraction from what I'm doing over here to uh, kind of sideline a side project of mine had this car 
for a while. One of the neighbors gave it to me. Uh, just because it couldn't be put on the road anymore. It looks super nice, but uh, we were doing a little roundy round or just driving in the bush kind of thing. And then the, uh, the subframe kind of decided to uh, delete itself. <laughs> so anyways, my goal or what I wanted to do with this thing is uh, pretty much pull this thing off. And I want to make an adapter to run it on my Roadster. So I want to adapt this to a flathead, uh, flathead V8. So honestly, there is nothing else good that I can think of on the car. It's got good winter tires. The seats are kind of neat, but I don't know what I'd ever use a seat like that in. And there's really nothing else to use on it, which is unfortunate. That's kind of how a lot of the old cars or old new cars are now. So, well, maybe that heater core, because that is kind of the same as some stuff. Or I shouldn't say the heater core, the heater fan. But, uh, yeah, I've seen guys do this. Ooh. This is a little different than the ones I've seen. Now I'm questioning if this will work. Yeah, we'll take it off anyways. I don't know what size this one is. This must be smaller or something than what I'm thinking it is. Eh, anyways, I'll pull it off. Who knows? We'll see how it looks. I've seen guys do these where they've machined the top, but this one looks like a different design. Unless they've made a plate that welds on, I don't know. But they've ran this with two, 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 two barrels on it, on a flathead. So... Other guys have made adapters off the back. Kind of did an intake off that way. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'd rather keep it old schoolish looking. Even if it isn't as efficient, I'm okay with that. Because I'm not really doing anything to hop up the motor. It's going to be pretty stock. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's peel the sucker off. I'm definitely not sure how I'm going about to this or <laughs> how I'm going about to this but I took in all this junk off it's pretty small where the interface like where the rotors all meet so this should be pretty easy to adapt I'm thinking a bunch of this is like floating garbage uh, there is this this is probably your whatever like your blow off or something like that to which I can work around that I'm just trying to figure out, understand the inner workings of this thing before I start cutting stuff out of it. So, as you can see, the rotors, everything in the back. So, technically, I guess it funnels from the front here. I'm wondering if I can cut this thing down, plate this thing, and then build myself an intake on top where I can put two carbs. Should be doable. Just gonna find out what's under here and figure this stuff out. I was gonna swap the whole seat, but really, all I need out of this seat is uh, this side control and the seat bottom, because it's not wrecked, so. I'm just gonna swap those out. This one is uh, the seats that came with the panel. I really don't know if I'm gonna run them, because they just feel like they're too tall when you're sitting in it, but I guess time will tell. But anyways, for now, I'm gonna keep the good for myself. And, uh, The rest for whatever else. <laughs> what is this? I don't even know I had this. Oh, that's for tilting. Okay.
that's done. I know that bothered everybody that that was wrecked. <laughs> Can't say it bothered me, but it was getting worse. I'd replaced the side with one not as crappy as the first one. And uh, this one's like brand new. So that's good. Other than a little bit of bird poop, that's no big deal. <laughs> there we go, all fixed. So the other thing I gotta do is just gotta tack weld this thing back in place, this little bracket. I'm gonna have to come up with a better idea. It ends up doing that, which is kind of annoying. But I'm just gonna weld it for now and then the next time it breaks, hopefully both sides break, I'll come up with a better idea or some kind of a rubber mount for it. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go see if I can find another engine stand or pull a motor off of one, one of my junky ones and see if I can mount a flathead on it so I can figure out that supercharger. Well, that's kind of a bummer. See, I'm thinking this is that M62. I don't know my superchargers. It's probably good on a four cylinder or something like that. Not so much for what I want, because this snout doesn't line up with anything. I was hoping to at least get it lined up here. I know guys run, or people have run the M90s on these things. And I think this is an M62. Well, it's clearly not an M90. Well, at least I don't think so. Because we're my, uh, Rotors are over there, so to get it in the vicinity, the snout is nowhere near where I gotta go up in the front here. So, this one's gonna go on the back burner for a bit. I'm actually gonna try to find a supercharger. I just was hoping this one would have worked, but I guess not. Not a big deal. I think what my plan was to do is open up this or at least this part, kind of bowl it out so I can make a plate that I can bolt that supercharger on and away you go. It's not a total loss. I mean, if I can't find it, then maybe I'll build myself a double intake. Because essentially I think, you know, seems pretty straightforward other than uh, figuring how to weld these would be to just mount them one there and then one up in the front. Should kind of do it, eh? <laughs> I would imagine that would work. But I'm still convinced I want to make a supercharged flatty, so now I gotta go find an M90 supercharger. Bummer. Oh well, not a complete loss. This could be used for something.
There's definitely a cool factor to that. If I can get all the garbage to work. But alas, that one's too small. Maybe I'll see if Jeff wants to use it on his truck. He wanted to uh, turbocharge it. Why not supercharge a six? <laughs> Oh well. Alright, back to the drawing board.